what happened here? That's that's when he fell through the cot. And this is what y'all sleeping on the Salvation Army. Yeah. That's what we were sleeping on. Sign that say the Red Cross will assist you. The Red Cross is supposed to be man, the nurses, the doctors. Not a motherfucking thing. They lied to niggas. They lied to us, man. They getting paid to do shit. N nothing at all. Get smile on niggas' faces and bring cameras while niggas. Yeah, we can help you. You know what I'm saying? We don't. We don't have no home. No landlord talk about after they board up all these windows and everything. We're we're out of a home. So they're not really helping us get anything. But the fact that I'm saying, oh yeah, y'all can stay here for a night or two. But then what about what about everything that we need? We can't sit in the shelter all for a whole month. It's like a rec center. How about that? It's it's literally like I ain't see no showers. I ain't see nothing that I can get washed up at, but but the little sink that I cleaned the little bit of blood that I could get off my hand. Nothing. Help you I asked the lady last night, I'm like, man. Do you have a nurse on site that you can that can real quick wrap my hand? Two seconds. That's all it takes. Two seconds. They didn't even have the equipment to wrap my hand. I could have did it myself. After, after the cots broke, they had to get more. They had to try and find more cots. They didn't have it. They didn't have more cots to keep bringing out. So what is the Red Cross doing? Shit, not a thing, bro. Watch a nigga starve, bro. Watch they it's were... called a Red Cross. God bled on the cross to help, right? <laughs> Exactly. Facts. Facts. We just they had a whole care. grown argument, bro. We getting into it with each other now. Cause we stressed out, mad, can't even sleep, right? We man, trying what? to figure out where uh, we Man, going. when I tell you when I tell you night, if, if I can go thing. back on the video and show you literally where I was sitting at, man, those windows was no no more than two feet away from me, man. I got blue all the way back on my bed. I hit the wall and everything. I was hurt. I had to sit in the hospital for three to four hours. I was hurt, man. I told you my house looked like a murder scene, man. So you saying this is your blood? Mm -hmm. oh, through was going in. Okay, now right now, see, I'm just walking through, seeing the glass and all of the blood that's that was through this hand right here. This is all my blood. Look, it's blood, a whole line street. That's that's one wall. That's where I fell in the house. This is my brother's room right here. His whole blind flew all the way over here. Blood on the other side of the wall. Glass everywhere, man. Screens, trash everywhere. Whole windows knocked out. more glass just way more destruction so what happened when you felt it did you it blew you through you across the room or? yeah it threw me directly across my room um in the in the end you'll see you'll see directly where i was hello oh okay okay this is where i was that's literally where I was. I was sitting right here when it all happened. That's where I was sitting at. Right here in this spot. Right there in that spot, and the windows bust all that. I'm recording. The glass shattered on you. I'm recording. Thank you for attending the uh, 1 o'clock briefing. Uh, Commander Scott Gardner, my PIO, is going to be uh, making a statement. We'll take some questions. We'll try to answer what we can. The, the pipes, we believe, were manipulated or tampered with inside the residence. It was not a Dominion uh, issue. It was not a gas leak. It was not nothing like that. You know, it, it seems like the source of it was from the interior of the house. And our investigation and some of the uh, uh, evidence that we collected is kind of proving to be 